Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. We're gonna be doing another on-site job. Um, as you can tell, I'm already on the site. So let's go around and I'll show you what's gonna be happening. All right, so this place is pretty much still under construction, but they need to have some security cameras up as well as some access points. So we have one cable there for an AP. And then we have another cable up here that's for an access point. All these other cables that you see hanging out of the roof are for security cameras. They have quite a lot of cameras, I think about 60. We have a camera cable there. And then over here, we will be doing Unify access. Um, the drywallers put this on the wrong side of the wall. So I'm gonna have to push that through and uh, we'll have to mount that eventually, but that won't be done today. In this area, we have a couple more cables for cameras in both corners and we're gonna have to move that cable as this is now blocking it. And we'll walk over to the next office. We have a camera cable in that back corner and then we have another camera cable in this corner over here. We have one drop that's gonna be for a VoIP phone. Now we're on the second floor. We're gonna have an access point going right here and we have another camera in the corner as well as in that corner. This is where our network room is gonna be. So as you can tell, it's really dusty and dirty in this area, but we need to get the network rack put up so that they're operational by Tuesday. Uh, today is Sunday. These are the only cables that we're gonna be worrying about for today. Mostly they're cameras, and there's a couple that are just access points and a few data drops. The rest of them will be terminating in another video but we need to get the rack put up. I just have one screw in there right now and then get gear mounted and all these cables terminated. As we keep walking, there's more cables that are for cameras. We have an access point right there. Another camera in the corner, camera in this corner, and two cameras over here. Now we'll make it to the third floor of the building. And this part of the building is gonna be used for an Airbnb. We have an access point up top, and then we have a camera down below over here. At TV height, we have a data drop, and then we have a couple cables here for the Unify access. We're gonna to need to drop one of these cables into the door frame so that we can mount our strike to it. We have fiber coming in, and this is how Bell leaves their equipment, so their modem's just thrown on the floor, and then we have our fiber box up here. The only thing we're worried about doing today is terminating these cables back at the rack and putting up a few cameras. As they're moving in Tuesday, we'll also need some Wi-Fi. Some of the gear that we're gonna be using. So we have the Unify aggregation switch. We have a Unify 48 port PoE Pro switch. We have a Unify Dream Machine, and then we have the UNVR. We're gonna be adding a second 48 PoE Pro as well as a second UNVR as we're at about 60 cameras for this job. I now have the rack put up. What we need to do, we need to get all these cables dressed down the side of the rack and then brought up and in and into a patch panel. And then we're gonna start mounting our Unify gear. Okay, now we have those 24 camera cables dressed in and bundled down going up and into the rack. Uh, what we need to do now is terminate all 24 onto a patch panel and I'm gonna use yellow keystones for the cameras. Somebody asked me in the last video which tool I used to terminate. I used the vertical cable eye punch tool and I used the vertical cable VMAX jacks. If you live in Europe, you're typically using shielded cables and you could get this to terminate shielded cables as well. Here, it's not standard to run shielded cable.
have the 24 camera cables terminated, we need to put the USW 48 port pro switch below it. I put in the USW PoE 48 port pro switch, another patch panel. I don't have any blanks to put in this patch panel, but we'll finish that off with black blanks when we get back to site. Uh, I think it's in about February that we'll be coming back. We have our UDM pro, and then we have a USW aggregation switch. This originally wasn't quoted, but I had an extra one laying around, so I'm gonna throw it in for free, as we shouldn't be daisy chaining our switches. And below that, we have a UNVR. That's all the gear that's going to be going in the rack for now. We have another USW 48 PoE Pro switch that's going to be going down below, as well as another UNVR. So now we need to patch all of these in, which is one of my favorite parts. That's it for me for the day. We terminated 24 camera cables and four data cables. So there's two access points on those data cables as well as two wall jacks. So now I'll take you around and show you what I've done. On the ceiling, we have a U6LR, which is probably gonna get dirty as this is still in construction, but they needed Wi-Fi. So we have one U6LR there. We have another U6LR up front. And then if we look at the very front window, we have a G4 dome and it's pointing at the window right now just to make sure no one breaks in. And right here in the hallway, we have another G4 dome that's pointing towards the doors. On the side of the building, we have another G4 dome that's pointing down towards the aisle. And at the back door, we have a G3 Flex with the G3 Professional mount. There's still a lot to be done for this job. We still need to put in six U6 LRs, a bunch of cameras and access control, but we needed to get Wi-Fi working and some cameras up and running. I'll be filming the rest of this journey as it gets completed. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.